afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. And today, let's look at a destination trailer, a used destination trailer. And guys, this particular one's kind of different. Uh, this is a floor plan that honestly I haven't filmed in many years. And that is a two queen bedroom destination trailer. And these used to be really, really popular 15, 20 years ago. And I don't know why manufacturers quit making them um you know if you got adult kids or people or another couple or you know a lot of people don't want to sleep in bunk beds and this is one of those that's made for somebody like that and this is like i said it's a 17 forest river cherokee limited 39 rese and i cannot find another one of these anywhere not in the factory sales brochure it's not in the nada i don't know if this was some kind of prototype they built i'm not sure it is a destination trailer. Got the seven and a half foot tall interior roof hide. It's got a slide out. It's $36,900 in, in good shape. And like I said, it's a two, it's a front and rear queen bedroom floor plan. So let's look around it. Let me know what you think about it. One thing I am gonna point out, and unlike most destination trailers, this unit does not have a sliding glass door. It's got just two regular camper entry doors. But it is a 39 RESE. So for those of you saying it doesn't exist, well, I got a 40 foot proof right here, a 40 foot long proof right here that it does. Dry weight is 8,120 pounds. So it's a pretty lightweight destination trailer. It's something you can tow without having a huge pickup truck. Of course, keep in mind guys, these things, especially with this tall roof like this one has, will catch a lot of wind. So even if you've got a, one ton truck or whatever you probably still want to make sure you've got a good weight distribution and sway control system if you tow this of course now this is one of those kinds of trailers that you take somewhere and you park it and leave it this is not something designed to take to the lake for the weekend or the mountains or whatever this is something you put on a monthly site something you put on some property uh, we do offer delivery service for a dollar fifty a loaded mile one way we don't, we don't charge for the return trip and uh, for those of you who want to buy something like this, maybe live in it, maybe keep it on some property to go on the weekends. Um, but this is something you probably, is not really designed to hook up and take out for a night or two. I mean, you could technically, but that's a lot of trouble to maneuver something this big and park it and set it up just for a couple of days, you know. But, you know, all in all, it looks great. You know, it is a destination trailer, not a park model. So you do have onboard heat and air system. You do have holding tanks, freshwater holding tank, black and gray, where a park model has none of those things. And it's under eight and a half feet wide. So you don't have to have wide load permits to uh, move it from one location to the next like you do with a park model. But one slide, Got a six gallon DSI water heater. Let's go around and look inside of it. Stripes and striping looks good. Power patio on him. Let's look inside. A 39 RESE, which I'm assuming the RESE is short for residential. Now guys, I apologize. I don't have any power on down here. My little generator, that little quiet generator I used after five years finally bit the dust. So I actually got another one ordered that'll be here in a couple of days so I can start doing some of these travel trailers uh, and have the lights on and stuff. But I do like the colors in here. And you got that extra tall, seven and a half foot tall roof. So you, you don't feel claustrophobic at all, even with just one slide. And that's one reason why the weight is so much less than most other destination trailers because this thing doesn't have three, four slides on it. You know, slide outs add weight. You do have a large table booth that makes a bed. You've got a smaller sofa that makes a bed for a couple of kids. I got to get one blind fixed. Stainless steel appliances. You do have all electric refrigerator like most destination trailers. You know, these are actually designed for everyday use where the RV refrigerator is not. 
you know what's fancy if it's got a wine rack led lights look at this pantry huge pantry i mean pantry at my house isn't much bigger than this <laughs> crazy and you could act you've got plenty of room right here if you ever wanted to put a bigger refrigerator in here of course getting in and in and out it's going to involve taking a window out so uh, because he doesn't have a sliding door but let's see what do we got here another big closet and this is in the main living area this isn't in the bedrooms or the bathrooms this is the front bedroom with a queen bed now this is probably what you would call the guest bedroom this isn't the master got a small television right there the built-in dvd player some overhead storage decent closet space little storage underneath the bed as well and of course a, a regular closing door for privacy right here so you can kind of have your own area there's your little fury and stereo as well it's a big table right there we're going to walk toward the back and of course you got your tv on the wall right here and you've got your bathroom it's one bathroom model of course and you've got a rv toilet big stand-up shower now guys a lot of people do this especially if you're bigger like me um, a lot of times you'll have a sliding door right here and people will take them off and put a shower curtain just to give you a little bit more space when you're taking a shower i mean i'm 315 pounds so this right here plenty big enough but yeah i would see the the benefit of having a shower curtain over that sliding glass door you do have an entry door to the outside from the bathroom so if you've got kids staying with you, if they just need to run, duck, use the bathroom real quick and go back outside and play, they're not going to be tracking up your camper. They can just go right in this side door right here. Got a sink medicine cabinet. This is your own entrance to the bedroom from the bathroom. And of course, you can also get to the bedroom from the hall. Again, I like these solid doors right here. It just kind of gives you because they completely, completely, completely cut you off, even though there's no such thing as privacy in a camper when you're staying in it with several people. But it's a good illusion of privacy, let's just say that. And this unit does have two ducted roof airs, 50 amp electrical service. This is your master bedroom. You've got closets on each side, some overhead storage, queen bed. And again, I apologize, it's dark in here. There is your Vizio television. Yeah, this isn't bad. You know, park model or destination trailers are very popular for those of you who don't want steps in your RV. You know, I know a lot of people, you know, like the idea of a fifth wheel, but they don't like the idea of climbing up, you know, or maybe for health reasons or age or whatever, they don't want to climb up and down steps every day to go to the bedroom or the bathroom. Well, this one, you don't have to. Once you get in the door, you're good to go. This unit is $36,900. And of course, we will plug it up to power and we will inspect and make sure we guarantee both roof airs to work. We guarantee the slide to go in and out like it's supposed to. We guarantee the refrigerator and freezer to work for that price only. Everything else is sold as is. That's how we keep our prices down. You know, I actually have about eight or nine destination used destination trailers, which is, believe it or not, is probably the biggest selection of used destination trailers in one location in the country right now. And I know not everybody's looking for these. I know these are a specialized niche market. But for those of you who are in the market for used destination trailers, you, you know how hard it is to find these things. And if you go to my website, parkwayrbcenter.com, you can see every one that I have. I'm going to shoot another video after this one on a grand villa that just came in. And, um, you know, you'll have, I'll have all of them back on there. These things sell pretty good because nobody else has them. We offer nationwide delivery service 
a dollar fifty a loaded mile that's half price what other dealers charge for the same service and we don't charge for the return trip we only charge you for the trip out there we take trade-ins we have financing available with approved credit if you're interested in it uh, or have any questions about it give us a call at 706-965-7929 and um Let us know, guys. If you got any questions, we'll be glad to help you. Um, you know, if you're worried about buying it with just us guarantee the main systems, you're more than welcome to hire a third-party inspector. That's no problem. Sometimes it's worth a few extra hundred dollars for peace of mind. Because, you know, like I said, we check those things and that's it. Uh, that's how we keep our prices like that. Now, you know, if you want to pay $42,900, $43,900, then we'll talk about a full retail inspection. But I'm not selling it for that price. I'm selling it for $36,900. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you smash me a thumbs up. I've got some motorhomes uh, coming up. Um, I was going to do that big uh, tag axle Dutch star. There's some folks looking at it. I'm going to let them get through with it. So I'm going to shoot a couple of these campers down here. Then when they get done, I'll try to shoot it today or tomorrow. But I do have a couple of these destination trailers that I'm going to shoot today. This one and another one. And I uh, got a lot of regular travel trailers too. I'll probably try to film in the next week. Of course, tomorrow's Travel Trailer Tuesday. So I'll try to knock out a couple of them tomorrow too. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Smash me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you got questions, give us a call. We're 54-year-old family owned and operated used RV dealership, guys. We keep things easy, simple, and done. Haggle-free firm prices. No surprise fees. Uh, you know, no dock fees or prep fees or get ready fees freight fees or any of this other junk happy camper fees whatever these other dealers charge um you know we have financing available or you can pay cash trade or a combination of the three you know we're not like a lot of dealers we don't discourage cash sales in fact probably 60 to 70 percent of our sales are cash sales you know i know a lot of dealers right now with inventory shortage or discouraging everybody or even charging them more in some cases for cash sales and what they do is uh, and i just had a customer recently tell me this is um uh they they use their fees as a way to get you to pay to finance one over paying cash um they said they had a i had some folks here uh saturday that i talked to and they were buying one from us but they were going to buy one from ripoff world up the street and their neighbors bought one up there just about a week or two ago and they they were looking at one really similar to what their neighbors bought and their neighbors financed it and paid like six seven hundred dollars in fees which isn't nothing i guess however because these folks were paying cash for the same type of rv a little different but the same price for point and all that they were trying to charge them four or five grand in fees because and but they but the finance manager says you know what i can get a rebate from this bank if you finance through them that'll cover most of these fees guys banks don't give rebates to dealers banks don't give rebates to customers to go through them to finance an rv the reason they do that is because they make so much money when you finance an rv over paying cash because they mark the interest rates up they, get, they hit you up with upsells like extended warranties, gap insurance, interior, exterior protection packages, and more that half of them is not worth the paper it's written on. And they're all marked up four times dealer cost. So they don't want you to pay cash because you can't get anybody to buy those services when they're paying cash. However, when you got somebody financing, they sell you on the payment instead of the amount financed. So they'll tell you instead of selling you, hey, I'll sell you an extended warranty for $3,000. Oh, hey, guess what? $20 more a month, I'll put you a three-year extended warranty on it. And people go ahead and go for it, not realizing how much they're overpaying and how much they're financing. So dealers lose money when you pay cash. We don't care here, guys. We, we don't make any profit on uh, financing. Whatever the bank approves you for is what you pay. We don't mark the rates up. We don't have any upsells. You know, we don't try to cram all this stuff down your throat like gap insurance, extended warranties, and all that stuff because we found out that both that stuff's not worth the paper it's written on. We're not going to rip our customers off like that just to make a few extra bucks. It's not worth it. So we don't do any of that. We just keep buying and selling easy, simple, and done. doesn't matter how you pay for it. doesn't matter how far you come to get it. That's the price. 
Um, and that's that's a little trick a lot of dealers will do is they'll use those fees to encourage you to finance over paying cash. That's because when you pay cash, again, dealers lose thousands of dollars in profit when you pay cash over financing. Even if you are buying for the same price, it doesn't matter. They still lose a lot of money. That's why a lot of dealers uh, are discouraging cash sales because of that. Or they'll tell you, or mysteriously, once a salesperson finds out you're paying cash and the one you're looking for mysteriously gets a deposit on it. Another old trick. So keep that in mind, guys. Here, it's all the same to us. It all goes right in the bank. Everything's done by the law. We do Form 8300s if it's over 10 grand, just like you're supposed to. I mean, we don't we don't sugarcoat anything. We tell it like it is, and we'll you know we'll we'll sell it to you either way you want to go. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Just a quick video, and I'm gonna shoot this Grand Villa while I still got some charge on my camera. Uh, again, feel free to comment, smash a thumbs up. Feel free to share on social media. Feel free to uh, go to my Facebook page, RV's a Big Bow, if you're on Facebook. And feel free to, uh, like again, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching, and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.